Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for episode 2 of Battle Brothers Oath Takers based on the DLC of Flesh and Faith. First things first, I want to say thank you for everyone who tuned into the first episode, it is greatly appreciated. It is actually the most successful episode I have had on my channel so far, so genuinely I really appreciate it. We also had quite a lot of people who wanted to join the Northern Oath Brotherhood or lovingly called the Knobs of Battle Brothers. So we've got a few of you in so far, and there's a few more that I want to find, because a lot of people want to play as two-handed knobs. And as I've always said, the best knobs are better held two-handed. So, we will find you, and we will recruit you, do not worry. But let me introduce you to the team. So, Hank has now been changed to Geji. Geji, I hope this is fine, because I actually was going to make Hank a duelist anyway when he gets to level 8, mainly due to his melee skill, his defense, and his initiative. I think it's going to work quite well. I will eventually take off the shield, and he will eventually get used to the armor, so I think he will end up being pretty sick. Fabian, here is your daddy. This is what he does. He is going to be a mace man. Eventually, he will be a two-handed mace man. Your mama likes a hammer. Your daddy likes a mace. So, this is where we're going to go. He's killed more than enough people already. Six kills in six days. Sorry, six kills in ten days. He's killed one kill per battle. Pretty good. He will eventually become a double-handed mace man. Yost is still Yost because, you know. And Weederking is still Weederking. Because these guys are probably going to become very average tank men at the best. We have Roderick Forrester, who will eventually have a crossbow or... I like to see him as a cross bro, if you get me. But crossbows are kind of expensive right now. So I will get you one eventually through fighting or buying one, but just not yet. And I know I said I wasn't going to make myself a character, but I've decided to have a poetic meaning to this series. So, welcome Northern the Old Guard. So, I am going to play as the old man of the Oath Takers. The person who is passing it over, passing the torch to the next generation of oath takers so i might sacrifice myself to save someone of younger generation you never know but i am on my way out and i want my beliefs to be passed on to the people around me and i think that's pretty suitable i think that's quite nice in a kind of way as long as i don't die in my net first fight today so we've got most of the people i know i need to get steven i know you want to be a two-handed axe and i also need to get wraith norfolk to be a two-hander which, to be fair, I'd probably make you a two-handed swordsman. So in that way, we've got two-handed mace, two-handed swords. Eventually, hopefully find someone with a two-handed hammer. We've got the two-handed flavor as well, if anyone wants to do that. Sign up right now, down in the comments, to be the best knob in town. Because that's what we plan to be. We plan to be the best knobs of Battle Brothers. Right. Let's get started already. Let's see what oath we get put on. Well... We are good people. Let's go help out this train caravan to kick off today. Let's go. Hello, fellow citizen. Oh, they're like miles away. Hopefully they're not all dead by the time we get there. They might also give us some nice stuff for helping them out. That is also a thing that happens. Stand in front of Roderick. Now that everyone's been named, I'm going to try and keep them alive as long as possible because, you know... They actually have names, so I'll feel kind of bad if you snuff it in the second episode. Don't think a lot of... Whoa, God, there's a lot of crossbow... Oh! There's a lot of crossbows coming this way, is he? Sounds like we could maybe nick one. Mayhaps. Sounds like a plan to me. Right, Weeder King, get it. Ah! So we got one who's in battle, and then we got one here. Okay. So we got some crossbows, which we could deal with very quickly. Depends how the rest of their team's going to react, though. Because, yeah, hopefully they'll just smash the donkey. Or smash that ass, as it were. Oh, we survived. Where are you going? Nobody's attacking anyone. You're switching and firing. Ooh, that caravan hand. At least, as long as the caravan hands can do some damage, to, you know, give us the upper hand, I'll take it. The caravan upper hand. Oh, God, he's gone. You guys suck. How are you expecting to, like, defend anything? Yeah, nice. You hit him once. And now you perished. But he 
stunned his friend. Oh, he almost killed that guy. No, 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 no. That's not how we do things. Can you get here and fire? Wow, okay. Maybe it is best that we train Roderick up a bit. Because 20%, not great. I do not know how he killed all those wolves in the night. And I always forever question that. Maybe I just didn't see really what was happening because it was nighttime. But, oh wow. Well, they're feeling pretty confident from killing everyone. So, that's a thing that's happening. Spears! Ow! All right, let's uh, let's not stick around to find out what's going to happen after that. All right, good. God damn, they love hitting Geji. Oh my god, he killed one of them. Well, you went out in style. In style. Not so much. Right, you hold him. We'll start. Good blocking. Good blocking. Let's start killing them, shall we? Please? Well, Weedy King got a bit of a hitting. Not a bad start. Got him in the head. I assume you guys are going to have to move a bit too far to get in. I really hope we get a crossbow out of this, because it's exactly what I wanted. Where do you think you're going? Not bad. 39 is kind of sucky. 38? Nah, mate. Nah, mate. Ooh, baby. I'm in. Here we go, ladies and... I didn't realize he was going to attack me. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Mate, I told you to stun your daddy. But instead, you hurt them so bad, you could have probably disappeared for 20 years to buy some cigarettes and then come back and nobody would notice. Hmm, sounds familiar. Oh my god. No, that's not a real story. I actually had quite a loving family, so don't worry. Okay. Not dead. You guys need to know your place. And that is in the ground. Please hit something. Nah, 20% is 20%, I guess. Bonk. There goes that mace. Watch him mace. Nice one, yo daddy. Get him in. Okay, stay alive. What's this jabroni doing? Oh, missing. We love it when they miss. Uh, where can we get? We can get there. That'll make them question. Nice one, Jost. Nice one, Jost. Nice one, me. Ooh, got a little bit of it. Right. 21%. <laughs> Don't worry, Roderick. You'll get better. I trust you will get better. Your daddy's a bit tired. <laughs> I wonder from what doing. Oh, you... Kill stealer. You kill stealer. Well, this guy's basically out. Finish him, please. Thank you, yo daddy. Can't quite reach him. He's probably going to run. Now, let's see if any of us can reach this guy. Because I do kind of want the crossbow. Right, I'm going to try and run him down. Unless he runs. Ah, oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone, fellas. But we saved the caravan. Because we are a good folk. Compared to some other series that we've done in the past. We have not been oh so good. But yeah. If you haven't realized by now in this series. We are going to try and be like. The friendliest and zealous us. Of knights. We will help everyone in trouble. Unless. You know. They'll wipe us out in three turns. But you know. Northern. We the king. Level up. <gasps> and there it is. We got the crossbow. Who wants to pay 700 crowns when you can just pry it from a dead man's hands? Am I right or am I right? And we got some ground grains. Give me some food, I guess. I mean, give me some um, tools would have been better. But All right, cool. Have we got the ammo for it? No, because why would we? All right, me. Good leveling up. I'll take a plus three. That's pointless. I'll take a plus four. And I'll take a plus five. I've got 105 in resolve. That means I give 10 to everyone around me. 
And I've already got Rally. Where is Polearm Mastery? Weeder King, I'm surprised you're sticking around, to be quite honest, but you're here for the time being, so why not lav, lav it? Living it up. He is living it up. So, we haven't really got anything to give to anyone, I suppose. That's the better level shield, that's 91%, doesn't really matter. Got a few injuries, but not the end of the world. We do have a Rusty Mail Coif, which is 70. Who's got the best? You got 67, you got 86. Why is your fatigue so good, man? So what's that? Minus four. Minus one. It's fine. There you go. He will show you what he's going to do. Oh, we've got some javelins. Is my uh, range any good? Ha! <laughs> no, it is not. Right, well, there was nothing here at Erlak, so I guess we're going back down to then go down and around, because this is a dead end. We are in the scrublands, and boy, do I feel like a scrub right now. Let's move on. So Gronenfest is definitely like a noble place because it's absolutely massive. Don't worry, we will get these contracts eventually. But let's see who lives here. So we've got Geralt Redmeat, who could probably actually be an okay cleaver person, maybe. We've got Balon, Balduin, Alwyn, who's a juggler. We love jugglers. Winric, oh man, a retired soldier. Arnulf, Edmund, you guys are expensive as balls. Balon could be okay. Geralt could be actually alright as... The person who uses that crypt cleaver, but I'm not 100% sold on the idea, so I'm not going to do it just yet. Nothing I want to buy because everything is expensive as balls. Are tools cheaper here? Please say yes. Why, yes, they are. All right, well, let's get rid of some crap. I'm not going to use those anytime soon just yet. I'm thinking of maybe like dropping Geji's um, helmet down a bit. Because watch this 53, 63. It's quite a big jump. I could just give him, like, a hood for the time being. Because it gives him almost 10 extra fatigue. I don't think he's got the level yet to have a flat top. You know what? I'll leave it at this. And hope that that extra fatigue will give him a bit more repost and firepower. Say firepower, melee power. Right. Please give me a town which I can have some jobs in, please. There is something else I want to make note of, which I might not have mentioned. This is definitely going to the south, isn't it? I am going to the south. Yes? Come on. Show me the goods. What is this map? My god. Is this... Oh god. Wait, hang on. Oh, four? Yeah, alright then. Why are you attacking me? I'm going to murder you. Well, say that. They might throw dirt in my eyes. 28. Fair enough. This guy's got a slightly bigger shield than I would like. Damn. They're just going to throw sand in my eyes, aren't they? Because that's what they love to do. Shame. Repost. Nice. Come on, do it. Ah, oh, close, but not close enough, unfortunately. But you have held them down, so fair enough. Damn. These shields, man. These shields. Hopefully, we can route them a bit. 11%, not likely. All right, not bad. Nice dodge. Nice stun. Mm, that's not what I meant. If a man is stunned, you should kill him. Well, Roderick, look at that. Just as I asked. And there I am. Just reminding everyone that I still live here. This is still my land. I'm just training people to living it. Oh, yo, daddy. Oh, your daddy. Might need to get you out there, buddy. Just stab him in the heads. What do you got? 22. 22. Hit him. Where are you going? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's still in it. 
the man, the myth, the legend, your daddy, who left 20 years ago, is still here. There he is. Impaling people with the flag and then lifting up into the sky is one of my favourite things to pastimes to do. Three kills to me, I will take that for thee. Boar spear, I'll take that. Oh, dried lamb. I love lamb. So what do we got? We still don't have any arm ammo for that, but I will get there. Let's switch the 30 to the 40. No, no, no. I said take that off. Stop trying to put it back on. Silly bastard. So, he's got the regular spear. Now he's got the boar spear. So we've got 80 and 105. Who is going to be the best equipped? 84, 64. What is that looking at? Minus 8. Minus 11. I think I can live with that with you, daddy. And then we got Jost, who's got a better... Well, that? Minus 6. That's minus 4. It's more or less the same. But for 80, yeah. There you go, Jost. Is Jost going to turn into actually an okay person? Guess we'll see. 50. How about 70? Some general upgrades all around. 65, I think that's the highest that's going to be. And obviously I've got 150 because of course I do. Uh, I think that's it. We do have a Nomad Mace. I don't think it's better. Let me have a look. 20 to 35. Oh, hello. Well, shut my mouth. 40 to 90. Ha! Shut my mouth indeed. There you go. Have a whale of a time with that. Why is that worse? 20 to 85, 25 to 85, 40. Why is that worth... Uh, I suppose it's because it's only at 70%, I guess. But fine, we're good to go. Let's rock and roll, baby. It says during camp, but we're currently walking. So the Northern Earth Brotherhood will be despondent to that purpose. Sensing their needs, you retire yourself to a quiet spot and slit and clear your mind. Basically, Anselm is going to tell us what's what for the next 10 days, is what I imagine. So... As warriors, we must never lose sight of true honor. Let us take an oath of honor and meet our opponents in melee. So we can't use ranged weapons at all. So the crossbow, the ranged, the whole arrows with Roderick. Can't do it, mate. Sorry. Your men start battle at confident. Your renown will increase. You gain extra renown for deep enemies without them being engaged by other combatants. So that's like one-on-one, -on -one, basically. Very honorable. This is the part where we don't take any crowns as wages, and we get extra now for suffering no more than four combat injuries. Could be interesting to see, and we must have courage to face down any challenge, no matter how daunting. So, your men will never flee. You gain extra now for winning battles where you are outnumbered. I kind of want to take this one, because currently, at this very second, most of the things we're doing, we are outnumbered. Like most with brigands, where it's like, oh, there's nine thugs, but there's like five of us, but we'll still wreck them, because they're thugs. So I think we'll take the Oath of Valor. Because we shall be valorous for the people of Battle Brothers. The most valorous knobs you ever did see. Well, I said it last time, and I'm going to say it again. This map is an absolute mess. Look at this. What is this? Oh, man. And then you've got the northern cities sort of here, maybe. And then something up here, maybe. And then this is the end of the road. I assume this is the rest of the city-states. I don't think there's anything past Al Hazif. No, this is a dead end, but there is a dock, so I probably will end up using it to get back up to Camp Water. Because am I balls walking that far? Please give me a job that's worth doing. Oh, the arena's not even here. Or Coliseum, you would say. What do we got? Ah, oh, nomads! You know. How bad could that be? Except, wait, very bad, maybe. Well, we'll see. Have you got any crossbow bolts? No. Okay, I didn't agree to it to be this. Why is it every single contract we've been getting? It's like, oh, it's just a bit to the west. Oh, it's just a bit to the south. But there's a huge riverbed in the middle of it. They seem to just, you know, not mention that information. I would have put that into my contract pay if I knew. Yo, little bastards. All right, fine. Well, let's go see what happens here. We have seven. Oh. For a second, we had 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, and then 8. So, not as good. Just a lot of many Nomad cutthroats. So, already, the Oath of Valor could work out pretty well, because there's, what, six of us who are all pretty healed and in a pretty good mood, I would say. Because, at the end of the day, we'll never flee. We will only battle to the end. For honor and glory! Well... We'll see about that.
Okay, so we've only got two more of us, and none of them have shields. So... Sp I hear spear walls and smacking him on the head is a viable option. I guess we'll see. Riposte, baby! Shield up. And then... Spear up. Shield up. Can you hit? 42, 40... Yeah, you almost routed that guy straight up. Props to you. Ah, oh, waste of a spear wall. Truly a damn shame. Oh, you went for the wrong person. And you threw sand in his eyes. Oh dear. I don't really like the idea of being surrounded. I don't think anyone does. Oof. Let's come up here. Finish this sucker off. Well, Whew. not a bad start. Oh, you stabbed the wrong person. No, not Weeder King, who I don't really care about that much. Probably for the best, because he's dead. And that's all she wrote. Man, these 41s are cleaning up. Let's move back a bit. I am just an old man after all. Remember that. Spear up. You're out. That's how you're going to play me, yeah? For a sand in my eyes? That's cool, man. That's cool. Stop with the sand! My eyes! I hate it! It's coarse and rough and it gets everywhere! Damn you! Well, your daddy's not going to be happy about that. Especially after that. Alright, Roderick. You sure you want to be a crossbow, man? You're doing pretty well with the, uh... The bow. Alright, Geji's pretty tired. Told you we'd get you back. And also, maybe your mates. Joss lives again. What the hell, Roderick? Beep boop. You're dead. Don't run. That's what happens when you run. Well, Weeder King's dead, but... Pfft, that's fine. I wasn't really expecting that much anyway, to be quite honest. Uh, ooh, we got some spices. Very nice. Can sell them up north. 100 crowns. Yeah, okay, fine. We need to rehire again. But we'll get 720 crowns for it, which do we have to pay soon? Not yet, so we'll probably have maybe about 1,500 crowns. And I am going to get the boat back to the north, because the south spawning way is a bit of a mess on this map. The Holy War is going to be interesting, mainly because there's going to be too bloody, many bloody rivers in the way. Which they can use to their advantage, to be fair, so good on them. And away we go! We're back at Camp Water. Okay, this isn't too bad, because I can go up. Or I can go... Well, this, I assume, is the south. So, I can go up. Which is our preferred direction, to be fair. What do we got? Well, what do you want? Ah, tracks. Well, let's see who you have to hire. Because I am in the market for an axe man and a possible swordsman as well. And anyone else who wants to get involved being one of the Northern Oath Brotherhood. The biggest knobs in town. Let me know in the comments. I'll more than happily get you involved. And hopefully you'll see the light of day. But hey, no guarantees if you die in the first episode, I'm just going to slap your name on a person. So, you've been warned. Right, what do you got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? It's some expensive people. Gun has 70 crowns. I'm pretty sure he was here last time we were here. Gun a eunuch. So, you can't really be part of the knobs for meta reasons. Sorry. We're moving on. Right, well. Oh, by the way, whilst we're at the barber shop, ba -ba -da -ba, Roderick, where's the biggest beard? Pretty big beard. Pretty big beard. I mean, that's basically the biggest beard. I'm going to change your hair because I don't think you deserve a monk haircut. There you go, buddy. Enjoy it while you can. Well, I mean, you can't get your jaw knocked off in this game, so I think you'll be fine. Pint time! Okay, let's do this quest. Contract. I always say quest. Quest! Okay, well, 382 is okay for a northern thing. I'll take it for someone 1600. Not bad. Do we have... Oh my god, we don't. Is there a Fletcher here? No? A Fletcher? Someone last name of Fletcher? Give me some boat bolts. 
Yay? No? No. Okay, fine. Let's go get the ceremonial staff back. Because they're too busy bonking each other in the forest. With a staff, not each other. Oh, well, they might be doing that. Fair enough to them if you like that. Just some thugs, is it? Well, there's two more of them, so technically, we should get two out of five on this. Let's go. You're giving the land advantage to me. It's almost like the game remembers that he screwed me with the uh, necromancer last time. Why, thank you, game. I appreciate it. Hey! Not bad. Could have got him in the head, though, couldn't you? What well, knives out and not the film? Hiya. It's very half height, half hearted hiya. To be fair. Oh, who's Johnny Fug over there? Johnny Fug. You shut up. Nah, repost could have been good. Oh, well. Looks like they got him. One. Oh, I did give you a short sword, to be fair. And damn, are you gonna use it? Oh, damn. That didn't work. Oh, heck. Heck, indeed. Any of you not having a great time? 90? Come on down. I'll take it. Roderick! Man! Ranged and melee. What can I say? Uh, you don't hit me with a flail. Well, you don't hit Geju with a flail. Because that's what happens, mate. Up on the air, I go. Nami! Nami! Stun- That's not really stunning someone, is it? Really. It's flail killing him, mate. See? Bloody hell, Roderick! Gives no shits. There it is. Sports fans. Alright, Joss leveled up. I don't know why Joss is still here. He's the only non-named character right now. We've got some daggers. I guess I'll give them to some of the characters. So we've got them to impale people for their armor. So there you go, Gedry. Have this. That and your daddy. Have a dagger. I don't think there's any others. No? No. That was a pretty easy contract for 350 crowns. I ain't complaining. I guess I'll... Great Jost. Not that I'm really expecting all that much. I'm just like throwing perks into him at this point. Like, eh? He's just here. He's just filling a spot. But he's not going as bad as I thought he was going to go. I was expecting him to die at the start of this episode. But he's, he's still here. Right, let's see what actually lives up this road. I assume it's more of the Northern Seas because... At this point, I'm a bit like, where the hell are we all? Come on, give me another Norman... Uh, one that I can't get jobs from. But maybe, one that I can get... Oh, hello! Another Oath Taker! Bertel! Look at this! Cats and Hammer, but it is. Except Cats and Hammer is a reference to a character played by Nathan Fillion, where, to be fair, the hammer is his knob, so it would work out really well. But, I don't have four grand, so... Sorry, Bertel, a.k.a. Captain Hammer, not hiring you today. Maybe later. All these super mega cheap people on your hand maybe have a better chance. Ah, uh, no contracts. Well, maybe I'll go up to the next place, because I assume there's going to be a next place above this. Make some money, and then come back over here, and then come and buy some of these silly bastards. I think that could be a solid idea. Do we have... Oh, we do. Hallelujah. Right. Right, Roderick. You have your wish. There you go. Crossbows it is. Crossbows at dawn. Right. Let's go find another city which will actually give us... Or even a village. I'll take a village. That will give us some contracts so we can make some money and hire some more knob bros. Um, how do you pronounce that? Fjellstein is the P silent? Only if you hit one side of the toilet is. <laughs> Oh, damn it, escorts. I don't do escort missions. Thanks, game. Let's see if anything's here in the morning. Well, it changed, and we now have to deal with what hunts down Thalestein. So let's go see what actually terrorizes it. Hopefully it's just like, you know, more walls than it was last time. But not too many more. Maybe like one or two. Well, they're definitely not wolves. 
I'll say that, but they do outnumber us, so hopefully it will go towards our Oath of Valor. I say hopefully, it definitely will. Alright, come on you undead fools. Technically I would pull you into some civilians to come and help me, but we are a valor valorous sort, so I won't do it this time. I'll do it myself. Okay, worst comes to worst, there is some big boys. Are we okay? Oh, is that nine? Three, six, yeah, alright, cool. So there's only the small boys. I can live with this. I will hold on a crossbow. I will repost. And I will shield wall. Hopefully they're dumb enough to walk into it. But not enough to get themselves killed so they start eating each other. That is the big thing. Hmm. Kind of made everyone second guess then. You guys not interested in coming to the party? No? Okay. Well... You asked for it. That's one, baby! Stand on his corpse so he can't, so nobody can eat him, please. Stand on that corpse. Slowly move up, man. Slowly move up. Don't kill him, though. And be careful of that. Is that what repost on, technically? No. Okie dokie! They're probably gonna go first, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Why does Joss turn into, like, an OG? It's not what I was expecting at all. We're a little bit surrounded. No, he's a little bit hit. He dodged basically everything. Fire it in close quarters. Fair enough. Switch. Get ready to fight for your life, mate. That's two. Damn. Careful, Roderick! Don't die! Alright, boys, we're okay. Mm, we're maybe less than okay. Oh, God, really? Good dodging, but less on the whole, you know, that part. There we go. Right. Lock him down, please. Ah, stunning would have been perfection. You got rid of his confidence, which I will take. Oh god, that on the other hand, I will not take. At least he's dead. Switch back to your crossbow and reload it. See who play. Uh oh. Kill it! Kill it! Oh, well. Bastard. Bastard. Well, just. Eh, whatever. Let's move on. Swiftly. Do forget we're playing it on experts sometimes, you know? But the main people are still alive, and that's what's important. Let's see what we got from that then. So, Roderick leveled up, so I will take a plus four there. Take a plus... Oh, take a plus three, make it 10-10. I'll ten. be alright, 97. Uh, and then obviously we're going to go crossbow mastery, wherever it may be. There it is. Done and done. Geji, please for the love of God. Oh yeah, plus four in fatigue. Here we go. Plus three. Ah, uh, plus two isn't fantastic. It's okay. But it could be better. Yeah, you know what, I'll take it. I will take it, and we will go sword mastery. And we will move the group up slightly. I would say that was some pretty good upgrades. What have we got just in the stash, just sitting there? Okay, well, I could probably hire some people, but... I don't know, like... Uh, you. Into the gene pool. Well, well, I mean, to be fair, someone who's lucky and tough is not the worst person I could have ever picked in the world, I guess. So let's put you on the... 50? Give you a silly hat. I say silly hat. It's an okay hat. Give you a spear, get in the line. Welcome to the club, Ulfbert. Ulfert, you're not going to last. But you'll at least keep us busy until we find the next person. God, I hope we find the next person. So you notice we're back at sea camp. We're back in the north. Um, this just got very non-existent. There was like no contracts. If they were contracts, 
they were, Oh, escort me to the next place, please, oh, kind sir. And I wasn't going to do that. Um, so we're going back to the south, going back to the north, should I say, because that's where we belong. Hopefully, going up this road will lead us to, lead us to Pastors New, and I hope there's about 7 billion different settlements up here, which I'm just missing. Because if not, we've got a very small smattering to choose from, which I might be a little bit concerned about, especially if the orcs come and wreck everyone's shit. Who lives here? We the gangers? Show yourselves, villains! Yeah, they are Weedy Gangers. Alright. Time to send you back to the grave. And we've only seven of them. Oh god, I hope he's not a necromancer. Please, just let them be undead. Well, there's six of them. How close? 59? Nah, not this time, buddy. We're not going to get close enough anyway, so don't waste your fatigue. Okay, they're all Weedy Gangers. This should be pretty cut and dry. Just don't screw it up, guys. All I'm going to say is, don't screw it up. You know that you know what's gonna happen, don't you? Probably won't happen. Okay, fire. Mmm, it's beginning. Up we go. Fire! That's better. Come on, I know you're undead, but walk faster. Okay, fine. One! Come on, you're not supposed, supposed to know the danger you're in. Like, at all. Come on. Where's the... Oh, dear. Where's the harm? Eh? The boss. Uh, can you get that and fire? You can, but you're going to miss, unfortunately. Oh, well. Nice. There's that repost coming in, baby. 77. 77. Man, I remember killing a dead being such an effort. Do you mind hitting me with a club? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Very close. Nice. That repost will be very helpful as the times come. As the days go by. I can't remember the rest, how the rest of the song goes. Otherwise I would have sang it. But I'm not going to do that. Born down and under. Anyway. As the days go by. Kill all the weeder gangers. Nice. Could have been worse. Could have been better. You are going to survive though. So help a fella out will you? Oh he's so close. Right you come down. You guys have got a single... Now, oh, here we go. Here come the clowns. Roderick's pulling out the sword to show them what for. Show them what it means to be a real knob. There it is. No? No bitey. No bitey. That's fair, right? Roderick got three kills, and two of them was in melee. It's not even your specialty, mate. What are you doing? Alright, well. Fine. I'll take some crowns, and also I'll take an easy 270 crowns for just clearing it off. What are we on, by the way? 443, and we are kind. It'd be better to be wonder kind. I mean, we you know, we are. We're not children, though, so... Or is that wonder kinder? I don't know German very well. This is going to really mess up the German subtitles. I'm sorry, German speakers. Okay, well, there is sack all here, so I guess we're going to go on a jolly adventure up north. Uh, we've got enough of everything, as far as I can tell. There's literally no food here, which kind of sucks. There's also no people here. Probably because they all starve to death. Jesus. All right, well. So, Ulfbert comes to you with a report of your food stocks. Well, I mean, our food stocks are okay. But most of the fruit is soft to the touch, covered in what appears to be great fur. All that's left of wise being thrown into a great stew, which the men have aptly named Crotch Broth. Ugh. However, by some fortuitous, fortuitous coincidence, a small farm. No, we are a valorous bunch. No stealing today. Cultists, maybe. Lone wolf, perhaps. Oath takers, nay, I say. Nay! But I'll steal from some bad guys. That's like a you know, justified. Oh, dangerous. 
Raiders! Interesting. This could be a time to get some better armor. Or die in the process. I see a lot of halberds. I don't like it. I'm just saying. But they are too far away to use the elevation, so there's that. I guess I'm going to scare them to death. Quite literally. Come one, come all. These hands are rated E for everyone. Well, don't be that scared. Come on. I don't know where you're hiding, but it's not going to work for too long. Ah, there you are. Scummo. Fire! Yeah, okay. Alright, fine. Yeah, he's the spirit. I don't like that. There's one telltale, telltale game once said. Nobody liked that. Uh, stand up here for better cover, I guess. Oh, Gedgy's feeling pretty good about it. Ah, you went at the wrong person, you sad sack of shit. Damn you! I warned you. Throw weapons, is it? I don't think so. Oof. Worried about this guy. This is covered. I think. Oh, God. I just realized. Oh, hello! Don't do it! Fine. Oh. That's bad. I'm in danger. Well, your daddy's in danger. Hit him in the head! Dodged it. Really? Okay, can you stun him? 59. No dodge. Good dodge. We're still... We are still in it somehow. If anything, that's actually worked because he had throwing weapons. And since he got pulled in, he has to switch out. So I guess it's that. Surprise! Bitch. And you. Uh, you can't stun. No, oh, you can't hit either. Come on, your daddy. Stay in it, buddy. I actually was kind of hoping that would... It sounds bad, but I was kind of hoping that would happen. Ooh, that's a good hit. Yeah, that's good shit. All right. Twam. Yeah, twam. How are you not dead? Thank you. Your daddy. Stick around, buddy. 26%. Yeah, that wasn't going to work, was it? Understandable. Have a nice day. Damn. Hi. Hi. Oh, what? Aren't you tired of being alive? Wouldn't you rather just perish instead? No? Apparently not. How are you not knackered me? How are you not knackered me? This guy. <laughs> Please. End this bloody hell of Bert. Someone end this man's life and fast. Thank you, me. Bloody hell. What's that? Pierced arm muscle and he leveled up. A valid price to pay. Morning star, that's a better mace. And we got a hook blade as well, not bad. And we also got a warm nail shirt and a rusty nail coif and a bit of crowns. That was just a random encounter. All right, Ulfbert. You're definitely not a mainstay, but I guess you can stick around for the time being until I find my other two cohorts. Uh, recover, because it doesn't really matter. So, what do we get? So, Mr. Mr. Mace, is it? Is Morningstar better? I assume it is. 25 to 35, 30 to 45, 1400. There you go. Slight increase. And then we've got 110. What do you got? 105 and minus... Yeah, that's fine. As for you, Broheim, you're not looking too great. Minus 11. I think you can do it. I believe. There you go. Obviously, if I do find some better bros, I am just going to rip that stuff straight off you because you don't deserve it. You don't. You're not actually part of this club. You're just here temporarily, mate. Oh, wait. No, I'm supposed to say the overtakers are nice guys. Whoops! Rescind that. 
No, but seriously, who the hell drew this map? It's bonkers. <laughs> okay, so we got Teeth and Forced, which had one one contract, which wasn't great. And then there was one guy who was just a guy, really. There wasn't really much to say about him. He was just there. He could have been the only man in the village. What do you got? What have you got? Oh, just a delivery quest, is it? Where am I going? Cotmanhaven. That's the place we start, isn't it? Dare I say that's a bit of a walk, although I suppose you could go ping down here. Anyone worth joining? You're just called Wolf. That's kind of edgy. Either that or you're Wolf from UK's... Is it UK's Gladiators? Yeah, it is UK's Gladiators. Well, you're a night owl, so that's actually not bad. I've got the money to try these guys out. You've got nothing, you sick bastard. You're dumb. That would be great for a cultist. Okay, Wolf, well, screw it. Well, Mr. Triple Skill. Looks like we've got a hell of a tank coming. I say that, he's on zero. So, yeah, you're not fab, are you? No. Looks like you're just another person who is going to stick around until I find someone better. Welcome to North indeed. There's loads of battle sites, everyone's dead, there's a bit of snow. And it's called Donnersburg. The place of Donners. Well, I suppose it'd be more thing if it was called Palmoburg. I hope some people get that, I really do. Let me know if please let me know if you do. Right, please God, give me someone oh wow. Well, there could be some. Oh, what a guy. Shame you're too expensive, buddy. What are you? Oh, an anatomist. That'd be interesting, except we're not playing the Anatomist playthrough. Once again, I don't know if it works, to, but I don't think it will. A true shame. Shame it's got a locked contract because it's a big old Citadel. Not really going to do us any good, is it, unfortunately? ulfbert has got a pierced arm muscle. When's he going to be healed? Go on then, for 90 crowns, I'll let you do it. I wouldn't normally do it because you're a temporary man, but fine. Fine. What do we got? In terms of stuff, hey, 400 crowns is not bad for that, to be fair. Like, that's quite a bit. These aren't bad. 98, you know what, I'll take that. Right to the bank. What's that? 40, yeah. And to be fair, Gedge, you'd have to take off his helmet. He's actually, in terms of, like, health. Not health. Fatigue. That's what I meant. Doing all right. What does, uh, under a minus five? Wow, I've got 39 fatigue. How about no? Let's just try and look at some of these potential knobs from Donnersburg. I'm going to call it Palmoburg for the time that I remember. The knobs from Palmoburg. Oh, God, I'd kill for a Palmo right now. Right. Ham fisted. His fists are made of ham and breaded chicken, my friends. All right, Wenzel. Screw it, you're 150. What do you got? <laughs> Shit, alright. Don't mess with Wenzel, he'll lay you out. Look at this triple skill, although he's got 47. But I think part of that is due to the fact that he's a drunkard, so he would actually have 52 to start with, so his minimum would be, what, 4 every time? So 4 times 10, 40, so 87. We can actually get rid of drunkards with some a few, like, events that might happen, so he might end up on 90. You might not be that shit. I mean, you're shit now, but you know what? Here you go. Here you go. Oh, we don't have that. Here you go. Well, Steven, welcome to the team. I'm going to keep ham-fisted. Feel free to tell me a different title, but you're Steven ham-fisted for the time being. I'll get you some better armor. Don't worry. I don't want you to die straight away. To the point, I'm actually going to put you back here for, for now. Let's see what we got. So, Vagabonds. We've got a Monk, which would be alright in terms of, like, a backline resolvey, but that's sort of, like, me? Legend. Manfred Legend would be sick, but look at that. Now, Anatomists, I've said this, and I don't know if they have an effect where they still do the same thing that they do in their background, but in this background, I don't know. But you know what? Well, you know what? 
Okay. He's night blind, which, I mean, if he's wearing the beaky boy, understandable. Also, that hat's really covering your eyes, mate. What do you want? But he is a survivor. And he will stab you with a screwdriver for a fiver. Uh, oh, screw it. Why not? What? What is... What is... Who are you? Where did you... What deep depths of hell did you... Did we just get two? Not one, but two triple melee skill people. Don't get me wrong, like, one of them's... Probably might not be as cut out as the other. But look at this. You're just an anatomist, mate. You're supposed to be a scientist. A scientist of war. Look at this guy. What's his armor like? 65, 40? Hell, maybe this is our other guy. Maybe this is our swordsman. Weirdly enough, as an anatomist. He doesn't need vision. He'll have a survivor perk. He's got triple skill in melee. Double skill in melee defense. His fatigue's sort of okay, but I can work on that through going up. Because he's going to have a minimum of four each time he gets his melee skill. So if I take it every single time, he's going to be on like 96. And then this, he's going to be on like a good 30-ish, which would be okay if he's doing two wielding. Two wielding, dual wielding. Two handing the knob, that's what I mean. And then this, well, we'll see. Screw it. I say screw it. There you go. I need to get you a shield, my friend, and then I'm going to rename you. For now, all the people that I'm going to give shields to, I do plan to make you two-handers. Obviously, you're not safe to be two-handers just yet. You dig? I dig. Okay, fantastic. Oh, wait, hang on. No, I need to rename this guy. So, you were part of the anatomist. Now you're part of the takers Welcome to the team. I hope I spell this right. Wraith? No. Fop? No, Fop. Tell me if I got it wrong. So we got Wraith Northop, the apparent anatomist. We've got Geji. We've got Ulfur, who's whatever. We have Yo Daddy. What does he do? He slays. We have Wolf, who's pff, whatever. He got retired from Gladiators, and here he is. We've got Stephen Hamfisted. We've got Roderick Forrester. And we've got Northern the Old Guard, who's passing on all his knowledge to the other people. And honestly, I would say that's a very, very much... Berry Munch? It's a Berry Munch. It's a Merry Bunch of Oath Takers. How long we got? We got five days. Well, that's five days that we're going to see next time. So, anyone who's not involved yet, drop something down in the comments. Let me know if you want to become a part of the Northern Oath Brotherhood, like many people already have. Give me a list. Give me a background. Give me the weapons that you want to use. Just get weird with it if you really want to. Just come and become a knob. It's a great time. Some people have already told you. As always, if you enjoyed this video, check out other videos on the channel. I'm sure you'll love it. Feel free to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to see when the next channel... Next channel? The next time we see more action with the Oath Takers. And maybe the Cultists. And maybe something else. But for the time being, guys and girls, that is ciao from me. See you next time.